Well, Taisha, when we think about driving under the influence, we think mainly about alcohol. In Huntington right now, that's not the most common type of impaired driving. Who are you driving beside in Huntington? Police say it's more likely now than ever they're intoxicated. Last year we had over 400 arrests and, and we're on a pace this year to, to outstrip that by, uh, you know, probably another 15% or more. Of those DUI arrests, roughly 65% of the drivers are high on drugs. If I get pulled over for suspicious driving, Officer Cower knows exactly what to look for. Hi, sir, can I see your driver's license, insurance, and registration? Officer Joey Cower is the state coordinator for the Drug Recreation Expert Program. It's in-depth training teaching officers to detect drug-related DUI. So it's not so simple as saying, you know, they are either drunk or they are on drugs. There is a whole slew of things that you're looking for. Oh, yes. It's, it's, it's a robust uh, amount of information that we're trying to derive from a, a brief encounter with you. Coer says for two weeks, officers trained to see subtle movements, abnormal pupils, speech patterns, and a list of other things to tell if someone is high behind the wheel. For the third week, trainees go to a medical center to diagnose users as a test. Now that we have it, we're starting to see major ramifications. Even officers on, on the regular patrols are much better equipped to detect those, uh, and, and I'm, I'm pretty comfortable that not too many of them you know, slip through the cracks. And one final test before I go, a breathalyzer. Every breathalyzer saves time because if they're high and not drunk, Officers don't have to test for alcohol back at the station. That's more time to keep other DUI drivers off your roads. Carr says the big benefit to stopping DUI drivers is they don't have to say what the person is on. They just have to tell the driver is intoxicated and ship him to jail.